I'm Eric Novak in Mississauga, Ontario, and coming up, I'm going to get to drive the one and only Hyundai Tucson fuel cell vehicle in Ontario, as well as get to learn a little bit about the hydrogen that fuels it. When we talk about zero emissions vehicles, most of the discussion revolves around battery electrics. We know them, we see them. But what we don't know enough about are fuel cell vehicles. Fuel cell technology is an electrified vehicle that runs on hydrogen. Basically, you take hydrogen, mix it with oxygen, H2O, the N exhaust is water vapor. It is a technology that has great potential, but really is underdeveloped in terms of use and application here in Canada and North America in general. I'm in Mississauga, Ontario right now, where I'm going to drive the one and only fuel cell vehicle that is regularly used in Ontario. It is the Hyundai Tucson fuel cell electric vehicle. It's actually operated by the chief technology officer of a company called Hydrogenics. What do they do? Well, actually they make hydrogen and they also make fuel cells. It's not the same exact fuel cell that's in the Tucson, but it's the same technology. So we're going to learn a little bit more about how the Tucson fuel cell electric drives and actually a little bit of information about hydrogen in general. Well, Hydrogenics is a fuel cell company, so we also develop uh, the same type of fuel cell, uh, not for automotive, but for many other mobility applications. Uh, and of course, being a mechanical engineer, uh, fascinated obviously with cars and as well as fuel cell technology, uh, uh, it's always been a dream to uh, drive the technology as a daily driver, and I was lucky enough uh, to uh, uh, meet the CEO of uh, Hyundai, Don Romano, and. Uh, when I mentioned uh, that we have refueling capability at Hydrogenics, uh, he was uh, gracious enough to offer uh, the, uh, the Tucson under lease, and I jumped at the opportunity. And again, there's that, it's, yeah, because what we're, what we're being powered with is electrical charge. So if you've driven a, an electrified vehicle like I've done many times, the sensation of driving the, uh, the Tucson fuel cell should be no different. All the, uh, the immediate torque response as all electric vehicles do are the same. And again, as it was mentioned, this is an electric vehicle. It's just instead of plugging in, you, you're receiving your electrified energy from a fuel cell, a hydrogen fuel tank in the back, and you're getting electric charge. It drives, like everyone says, this drives just like a car. Well, of course it is, because if it didn't, what would be the market for? Love it. The experience has been fantastic. So uh, we should, uh, I guess, remind the viewers that the Tucson, uh, first and foremost, is an electric vehicle. And as an electric vehicle, it has all the benefits of an electric vehicle where it is quiet, uh, uh, there's no vibration, uh, uh, the vehicle is actually quite light, so unlike maybe a battery electric vehicle, uh, I don't feel the mass associated with a battery electric vehicle in the car, so going into turns is quite, uh, is quite nice. Um, and then layer in the fact that it's a fuel cell electric vehicle, well now I've got the ability to drive uh, with a full tank of gas over 500 kilometers and uh, the fueling is done in under three minutes, so it's a fantastic drive. It's, it's no doubt in my mind that this is the future of mobility. Uh, we will see battery electric vehicles uh, in greater numbers over time, and if we can bring some infrastructure uh, to Ontario, we will definitely see significantly more fuel cell electric vehicles. We wanted to be the first vehicle or manufacturer in Canada to bring fuel cell vehicles in, in, into the province or into the country and actually deliver them to retail customers. Uh, we announced that in 2014 and about three months later we actually did that in 2015. And what we actually found was that this industry is far deeper, far more mature and sophisticated than we actually had anticipated. And it opened all sorts of doors and, and began all sorts of conversations about infrastructure developments and opportunities beyond just the BC market. 
one of those happened to be hydrogenics and we learned about their expertise in, in, in fuel cells and in uh, electrolyzers and hydrogen delivery systems, uh, not only in the US but all around the world. So it really shows us how sophisticated Canadian companies are in developing the infrastructure. They're just doing it in other parts of the world. The issue I think that we have uh, is that there is no hydrogen fueling infrastructure in Ontario. Without any infrastructure, you will not have any fuel cell electric vehicles. Uh, but we hope to solve that problem. We're looking to see if we can uh, garner support to bring some fueling stations into the Toronto area, into greater Ontario. Uh, and with fueling stations, we will have cars. So today, the, the energy grid that we have is uh, very siloed. Uh, we have an electrical energy grid, uh, lots of wires that run around. And uh, we have a natural gas uh, energy grid, lots of pipelines uh, that run below the ground. Uh, both systems delivering uh, energy to various uh, applications and sources. Uh, what we will likely see in the future is a merging of these two energy grids. So the electrical energy grid as we know it uh, will be flowing back and forth with the, um, with the pipeline or natural gas pipeline energy grid as we know it today. So there will be a link between the two where today they are two distinct silos. Uh, by linking these two energy grids uh, it's going to open up uh, possibilities that don't exist today. It will allow uh, bringing on uh, more large-scale renewable energy projects. Uh, it will help eliminate some of the energy surpluses that we have today in various regions where uh, renewable energy is taking uh, a strong foothold. So hydrogen uh, is going to be able to link those two energy silos where today they're uh, distinct and separate and hydrogen's role will be to link those two energy grids to allow us to move to an energy grid that is, uh, has higher efficiency and is able to accommodate a much uh, larger penetration of renewable energy uh, without creating issues on the grid as we see them today. When I first came here to do this story, I thought what I was here for was to learn about the Hyundai Tucson fuel cell and the first user here in Ontario. What happened in the end, though, is I had a big eye-opening experience. I got to learn about his company, Hydrogenics, the work that they do, how this uh, amazing company is really unknown in its own country, but also how hydrogen is playing an incredible role in the potential development of a sustainable energy grid. It's a real eye-opener here, and I think I'm going to have to do some more digging and learning about how hydrogen can easily, readily be a part in the future of an overall energy grid that is sustainable and not uh, damaging towards our future societies. I really enjoyed my experience here, and I'm glad I came, and I hope you found this beneficial too. But that's it for now from outside of Hydrogenics Corporation in Mississauga, Ontario. For EnviroDad.com, I'm Eric Novak. If you like this review, we've got more of them, both written and video, at www.envirodad.com. There's also a Facebook page for you to like, and you know what? We're even doing Twitter as well.